This is Drom Shekasuto. Hey, Shalom Aleichem guys, how are you doing? So I was um, paying attention to the fact that I uh, like literally found it hard um, to speak live on, uh, on Facebook and uh, I think I know why. Um, always when I'm going to give classes, the lectures, so like uh, there is a certain like method of how you come and you you say words of Torah and like people are expecting you to come and to talk words of Torah or whatever. So even though that I'm always like keeping mm, the speeches, my words like very honest and very sincere and very from the heart but uh, still there is a um, there is something that stays in those borders of, of Torah lessons and I think that may be something in like uh, in those live Facebook streams that I was making was like uh, a bit um, too personal for me like it was kind of complex for me to to open up and I had a very nice talk about this uh, issue with a friend of mine and also with my wife that she for sure helps me every time to to find myself in a deeper and much inner way and in both of those deep conversations I realized that like really in uh, the greatest need of people what really people needs the most is uh, is someone to be honest to be open with them and not uh, only to say like inspiring words of Torah and to quote sources and like to bring high and deep understandings like most of us we we just need a friend so uh, I asked myself why uh, why why have I stopped from giving those um, words from the heart why for so long and um, and I think that uh, when things become um, too personally too too emotionally like sometimes you you close yourself and you're rather to hide and you're rather to go into your uh, into your own shell and uh, to protect yourself and I can understand it I can understand myself uh, for choosing and um, choosing to to get into this place you know Yosef is here with us Yosef's in the house Shalom Yosef Hi. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this uh, whole journey, this whole search that uh, that we're going and talking to people and inspiring people and reaching out to people and all this amazing organization and the Muna project and you know, it's a uh, it's a huge. Um, it's a huge operation. It's not. A, it's not a simple thing, you know. There are many people that are working in in our company, and and everyone are human. Everyone has feelings, and everyone has has their like families and situations, and and I'm involved as much as I'm welcome to, and and much as much as I'm able to, like in every situation, you know, like as much as I'm invited and called to to be part of, of, of our friend's life and um, and it's tense, you know, it's deep and also the fact that uh, those things that we're talking about all the time are are real painful subjects like those are real things that are 
taking place in life of people, you know. People are dealing with the pain, people are dealing with the lost, people f deal with their low self-esteem, with hard communities that's very hard to, to join to and to communicate with. And like people struggles. Many of my friends and students are willing to convert and don't know how to, how to do it. We are now working on a new project, by the way, um, establishing a Beit Din, that uh, this Beit Din will help people to convert online, and we're going to offer it to, to our students, and I believe that many of you will find it very, um, like suddenly you'll have an opportunity, you'll have a way to convert. We're going to make it under all the rules of Halakha for sure and with great rabbis involved in, in this project and to help us and to help you to convert. Most of, the, um, most of the process will be online and of course we'll include um, Sarah is saying Shalom Banim Yekarim. Hello, special boys. Say shalom. Hello. You know who is Sarah? No. It's the mother of Nathan. You know which Nathan? So it's his mother. And also Nachman. And also Shmuel. They have many children. So she says shalom. Hi. So it's, uh, it's going to be a great opportunity. I think the majority of our um, of our non-Jewish students will like will will consider joining this uh, new project. So to deal with those topics, to deal with real like daily issues of our friends, of our students, is something that brings out a lot of uh, a lot of spirit, a lot of a lot of juice. Um, from within and it's uh, confronting us with those realities you know if you go and you tell someone hey you need to throw yourself on Hashem you need to believe on Hashem in Hashem you need to count on Hashem so after a while you find yourself in that place that okay now it's your turn now you need to count on Hashem now you need to throw yourself on Hashem okay so now let's see you cut the ocean in half jump into the water walk in dry land like all those challenges are uh, are very deep. The last two, so like the last two that we made, that we crossed the U.S. and went to so many places was very very tense. Like the way back was already exhausting, and uh, probably most of you you know we made a car accident above the Colorado River and, and it was not easy it was not it was not a uh, it was very tense we broke the car <laughs> Baruch Hashem thank God nothing happened to us in body but uh, in spirit it, uh, it like it shaked us and uh, it delayed and few classes been cancelled as well and few people been disappointed and like it was uh, it was a painful experience and um, what what's so funny why are you laughing <laughs> Nachman what Nachman is doing that you laugh so much Nachman left and then I Nachman attached you to his laugh and that's <laughs> it you've been infected with his uh, funny laugh <laughs> no no <laughs> I thought I just said what you did. Okay, so long story short, like life can be very tense and like you try to do the best that you can and with a lot of heart and and with uh, with many sacrifices, you know, <laughs> all of our families are in the holy land of Israel and we're trying to do the best we can, but like sometimes <laughs> things are coming What's going on, guys? Sometimes 
things go out of order, you know? And especially when you have those five... <laughs> magical... precious stones around you. So... I'm willing to jump back into the water of those words from the heart and to try again and to dive into that place. I'm very happy to make those short biblical breakdowns and also the stories from different books, all those secrets, those hidden things that are written. I'm very happy to share and to give from all this wisdom and knowledge that I bought with a lot of effort in many years of learning and thank God the project is moving forward and we are achieving great things and uh, hopefully with Zlat Hashem with the help of heaven soon the Creator will assist us to speak in a deeper way and to bring out water from deeper places out to you guys. We also have this fantastic... You see what Rina is saying? Rina is saying Israel Natan. You remember Rina? Rina mm. took us, I'll remind you who Rina is. Rina, she took us with her daughter when we were in Los Angeles to eat what? You ate pizza. pizza. You ate pizza. You remember yeah, Rina's yeah, pizza? Yeah. For two weeks after that night, every time we asked you what you want to eat, you said Rina's pizza. You remember that we've been in the restaurant and we ate pizza? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Pizza. You drank limonana. So we had fun in Los Angeles. Long story short, we're working hard. Now this uh, thing that we mentioned, that I mentioned about the questions and answers, so yes, um, this is also a very great project that um, many of our students took, um, took part in, in it and they joined this private um, questions and answers session. It's a weekly class and it's also <laughs> going very well. It gives me the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face in a unique program that we're using online. And we're like a Skype meeting, but it's a Zoom meeting. And like we have something like 70, 60-something people in our group. And everyone that wants to join us to that questions and answers and like private conversation. And in a very intimate um, way is more than welcome to contact us and to send an email or a message to info at emuna.com and we're very happy to to help you to join to our group it's a great thing it's a it's a it's a very educational it's a very deep thing many many hidden things many many deep things are are coming out in those uh, sessions, in those classes. Now, um, Sal Nathan, I feel you want to say something, right? Mm -hmm. You're making faces, <laughs> like you want to talk and someone stops you from talking. Okay, so, um, crazy wackos, are you okay? Yeah. I'm happy. So, let's say, Tu Bishvat Sameach. What's two bishvat? Do you know what's two bishvat? Two bishvat. Two. Yeah. What's two? Two. Two be shvat. That you will be shvat. To be shvat. It's no. to be shvat. No. What is to be shvat? What in Hebrew you say to be shvat? To be shvat. <laughs> no. That's the holy way. To be shvat. <laughs> you should be shvat. No. <laughs> so what's the no. meaning? What I is? Don't know. What is to be shvat? I what is to? Know. We don't know what's to be shvat. Maybe. Oh. Oh wow, Abraham. Thank you. So yes, to be shvat is the fifteenth day of the month shvat. 
Tur, it means Tet and Vav. You write Tet and Vav as the word Tu. So Tet and Vav together is 15th. Bishvat is in Shvat. It's the month of Shvat. And do you know what was taking place in this day? What is Tu Bishvat? Do you know what? Mm. What is happening every year in this day of Tu Bishvat? Mm -hmm. It's Rosh Hashanah La La Ilanot. It's the first day of the year for who? For the trees, <laughs> for the flowers, for all the things that grows. Nachman told me. Nachman, yes. Nachman told me tell to the people to to do like to do. To what? To, to like light. to make like to, to push do. the like button. No, to do like and the video of Nachman. Oh, oh, right. That's a great idea. You should all uh, watch the videos of Nachman. That Nachman is giving classes of Torah, and I'm posting them on my Dror Moshe Kasuto page on Facebook, and you can and subscribe also, to his channel. Yes. And also, I am start. You're starting now. You're starting your own channel now as well? Oh, really? What are you going to talk Nachman. about? With Nachman. With Nachman together. That's going to be fantastic. It's going to be on Nachman's channel or that you're opening your own channel? I don't know. Don't know yet? You're working I on it? I think that with Nachman. Okay, you'll do it maybe with Nachman. Okay, you're going to brainstorm it together. And if you want to open your own channel, so we'll open your channel, all right? On the highway. Okay, Speedy? Everything is flying high. So the Kasuto is saying bye. Can I tell a joke? Another, a joke? A joke. You can tell a joke. Last one, please, but make it funny. I'm begging. I don't know if it's Oh, you just want to... I have a joke. You have a joke? I'm an elephant. You mean... No joke for you guys. I have, I have. Last opportunity. Come on, no? Tell it. An elephant. An elephant yes. went with the akhbar. Mice. With the mice. The mice and they went to the... Where to? To the sea. To the sea. And then the... When they came to the water, so the elephant take the wore the bathing suit, wore a bathing suit, and and jumped where to to the sea, and then to the water, and then the and the then master saw the, the tell him you wait, wait, wait! Don't ruin the joke. Wait. So then the elephant saw that the mice was not getting into the water. So the elephant asked the mice, what he asked him? Why are not going into the water? So, so the mice answered. The mice tell the you dead. You took? You took my bathing suit. My bathing suit and, and the rope is the the elephant can't take the mice. The mice there. Bathing suit because it's too small. <laughs> and he can. It's a very funny joke. <laughs> okay, so it was a very serious joke. So don't uh, steal the bathing suits for your uh, from your mice. And Bezat Hashem from heaven, they will assist us all to celebrate. The first year, the first day of the new year for the trees and all plantings. All right, guys, give a big, huge smile. You want to say Shalom Aleichem? You want to say Shalom Aleichem? Everyone are in the house, but they're being humble now. Thank you. Shlomo in the house. <laughs> we caught him, joined him. Call to be well. Bye. We hope you enjoy this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always.
and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.